Good morning, you guys. It is Thanksgiving week. I'm sure it's crazy for so many people. My sister-in-law is hosting. She's always like on it. This girl, so excited to go there for Thanksgiving. And then I'm bringing, I'm gonna do a green salad with pear, walnut, feta crumbles, like a balsamic vinaigrette, green bean casserole. I make that almost every single year from Natasha's Kitchen. It's just really good. It's pretty easy to make and you can make it ahead of time. Sometimes I do Brussels sprouts. She already got the Brussels sprouts. So I'm bringing, oh, a pumpkin cheesecake and then little brownie, turkey brownies for the kids, the ones that I made when we were having like a little Thanksgiving thing. I don't know if you guys remember that. So today I'm just gonna get everything, start working on some things. Like I can definitely do some things ahead of time because it's already Tuesday and Thanksgiving is two days away. I started using some new skincare. Do you guys see this glow that I had in the morning? I started using Dr. Dennis Gross, the peel pads. They have sensitive, extra strength, and universal. I'm just using universal. These are expensive. Like just for 30, it was I think $60. So it's like a dollar for each one or two dollars for each one and it is a two-step thing but so many people say so many good things about this including my sister so i just got them and we're gonna see i'm i plan to use them like once or twice a week and then another product that i'm using right now is the glow maker may love i used to use this i don't know if you guys remember i talked about this a few times in previous vlogs in my old house i love vitamin c serums i'm all out of my alto this one oh there's like a little bit of it's barely coming out but i'm all out of this one so i was like okay i this is kind of expensive i do plan to repurchase it but maybe in the future so i want something a little bit cheaper right now and i used to use this i used i've tried the skinceuticals that one is very potent and almost like greasy and then i've tried the brandify version which is similar to skinceuticals that one's nice too this one is probably my favorite because it's clear and it doesn't have a fragrance like that hot dog smell that people talk about when they talk about the ce ferulic acid it is a little bit sticky at first if you love a good vitamin c serum i love anything vitamin c for my skin personally and then i also got the dennis gross aha bha cleanser it's great for like sensitive skin because it's a cleanser you just put it on and wash it off it's not like sitting on your skin so yeah that's just like some new skincare we're using i'm gonna finish off with the moisturizer do my makeup and then i'll meet you guys in the car i haven't done my hair yet i'm heating up the curling iron but this is the ootd of the day this sweatsuit comes separately is from amazon and it is men's i got it in size small the pants and the sweatshirt i've worn it before and i love it this bag is also from amazon it's probably not in stock anymore i'm not sure and these sneakers are h&m so we're having like a full-blown burgundy moment oh i also used bourbon brulee from letta my sister actually i had a sweater on i've mentioned this in the actually no i don't think i ever mentioned this i mentioned this on instagram i had like this brown sweater on from old navy that i love and she's like oh i love your sweater can i wear it she was going to run errands and do the cake for my dad's birthday and stuff and i was like fine whatever so she wore it and then she came back later that day when she was done she's like your sweater like i'm literally falling asleep she's like your sweater smells so good and i'm like oh it's the bourbon brulee i actually wanted to know what you thought of that so i'm glad i got like her honest opinion on, on it but yeah, she loved it. I let my mom smell it. My mom was like, mm, it's okay, but I don't like it. Then I let my mom smell 22 Auras, and she's like, ooh, this one I like. So I'm going to get my mom 22 Auras for Christmas. My mom loves a Chanel Chance. My sister loves Chanel Chance. I love Chanel Chance. I have since really expanded in different kind of perfumes that I like and stuff. So has my sister because she is very, very picky, but she liked Bourbon Brulee. It is very like a boozy scent at first, but then it's very creepy. $200 later. And I feel like I didn't really buy it that much. I got everything I needed for Thanksgiving to make those recipes. And then I did get some nonsense. <laughs> like this right here. These are frozen cotton candy snack grapes. You can definitely freeze your cotton candy grapes in general are expensive. I don't like ice things, if I'm being completely honest. Like I don't like too much ice in my ice drinks. I don't like ice water. And I've never, never put grapes in the freezer. But they are good. They are good. The cotton candy grapes in general are really, really good. I don't even know how much they cost. But I do know I just paid $200 for everything. And I still got to go to Walmart. To get the rest of my stuff i only need like a few things i couldn't find like heavy whipping cream how does Aldi not have heavy whipping cream i love her line and her stuff but i wonder if this is any good it's out at walmart.com i don't need it i'm just saying if you do need it 100 bucks 120. this is what 200 dollars in groceries looks like i didn't grab my Aldi bag so i have to grab them from the house but yes, this is 200 dollars right here guys that's crazy chris that's crazy the times we're living in i'm not gonna do any thanksgiving stuff today i don't know why i just i feel like i could just sleep all day those kind of days i have no idea why so i'm gonna make myself a midday it's not even midday it's like past midday it's five o'clock it's basically dinner time by the way there's like 
three, four flies in here. I don't know how they got in here. Well, I do know how they got in here, but I can't stand flies. I'm just waiting for the cats to like get to them before I do. I told myself that I'm gonna start drinking my iced matchas and iced coffees, iced lattes in fancy glasses like this. I saw a few ads for like peak matcha and it was in this glass specifically and I was like, ooh, that looks like exactly something that I would love. So I picked these up from Amazon. I actually made a bet with my husband because I have butterfingers. He's like, those are probably gonna crack in like a week. And I'm like, two weeks, I'll bet you. Two weeks if they don't crack, you only 50 bucks. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys posted two weeks from now. I am definitely like a butterfingers kind of person, but I feel like I should be good with these. I have these really, really cute ones. These are definitely a lot sturdier. These are stemless margarita glasses. So it looks like they have a stem because of how they're designed, but they don't. And I love them. They come separately or you can buy them in a set of two, a set of four, whatever. But those have like a solid base. These don't, but that's okay because we're not going to break them. So I'm going to wash them and then we're going to make an iced matcha in here. And I'm going to make them for my husband. Cheers. I use the brand Encha from Amazon. I've probably purchased it at least five times, at least at bare minimum. And then I just put it in a little jar like this and keep it in the refrigerator. I read it can keep matcha more fresh, fresher, but it's not necessary. I do. And I'm gonna do like two whopping tablespoons for each. So all together I'll do like four, which is a lot. Look how gorgeous this matcha color is. Like this is the color matcha should be. It should not be muddy green. No, bright green. So I have some in here and now I'm gonna add some hot water. I personally use a frothing wand. You can definitely do the whole whisk thing. Just give it a good whisk until it's like all blended out. Maybe one day I'll get like the little matcha whisk. But for now, this is just fine. For sweetener, I like to do either honey or some kind of flavored syrup like vanilla. Vanilla is all that I have right now. I have gingerbread as well, but gingerbread and matcha does not sound good. I saved that for my lattes. Lavender is another really good combination. But I'm just refilling my vanilla syrup. I'm gonna do a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Give it a little mix. And then grab your milk of choice. I do 2%, pour it in your fancy schmancy glass. And then you just pour the matcha over it and have a nice day. So I'm gonna do half in one. How beautiful does this look? And then the rest of it in the other one. Let me clean up real quick so that my brain can work better and enjoy this. This looks so good. I'm going to try this one because this one looks like it has more matcha. Mm. Very strong. I feel like it needs a little bit more vanilla syrup. A little bit more. Just a little bit. Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue. Just a little drop will do. Perfect. I'm going to go give this, this one to my husband, but cheers. My husband just fixed my son's four-wheeler he found it he didn't find it he got it from i don't even know where he bought it. i think facebook marketplace i was like something wrong with it so he fixed it but sometimes it's a long start if you don't use it for a long time so i don't know if you can hear it sounds like there's like a chopper outside but anywho i wanted to share what i got during black friday week there are so many sales i know it can be so tempting but me personally the way i see it is if you were looking at something might as well wait till black friday to buy it if it's like towards the end of the year, obviously in January, you're not gonna wait till Black Friday because then it's just too long to wait. But like towards the end of the year, if you're eyeing something, wait till Black Friday. A lot of times websites have the best deals usually. So I got a few things off Amazon. This was one of them, these little cuties right here. And then a few other things that I got from Amazon are these shoes right here. They have like pre-Black Friday sales going on right now. And these are so gorgeous. I love that they have the black insole instead of like the typical color right here. And they come in black. They're like a tweed material. They also have a white with like pink and almost kind of like glimmers. And then I love the heel. I wanted something that had a little bit of a heel, like a black heel. And these are perfect to wear every day because I'm 5'6". I don't like wearing heels unless I'm going to church like out and about. So these are perfect i would try them on i got an eight and a half i'm usually an eight but with shoes that are a little bit more narrow or pointed i like to go up half a size just to be a little bit more comfortable and then crazy yoga one of my all-time favorite brands for active wear is obviously running sales so i got this black bra i've been wanting it for a while a lot of people i feel like know of crazy yoga at this point and they love it it's never gonna replace lululemon i know that 
but it's a really good brand. This is the Butterlux bra. I love their Butterlux collection because it's really soft. Obviously, because it is brushed, it's not gonna last as long because of the process of brushing the material, but it's just so soft. It's great for if you do like stretching, mobility, or lounging around the house. It's not gonna give you any compression at all, but they came out with a butter lift, which is the Butterlux fabric but it's supposed to have a little bit more compression and as soon as i saw it i was like hold up hold up so i picked these up in i got an extra small because i wanted even more compression extra small is zero to two and i'm going to try them on right now and we'll see just from touching them they don't really feel like the butterlux the butterlux are definitely softer these feel a little bit more a little bit more like active wear but we'll see so i got that i got some skincare that was on sale that i talked about at the beginning of this video and then also this was not on sale but i didn't want to wait in case it sold out zara has this gorgeous coat that i saw on their website i usually don't shop zara because zara it's too overstimulating for me it's like there's so much going on their website when you shop by category and you zoom out instead of getting like all the fashion models and stuff which i get it it's fashion some of it is kind of like here here's my sneakers that i'm selling and it's like this is a photo and i'm like okay how, how is that showing me anything that I want. like i get it it's art but this is actually a shopping website i want to see what the item looks like i get that we're trying to be fashionistas here but i just want to see what it looks like like i'm not i'm not asking for too much but that's just zara for you asian i'm kind of started doing the same thing and i'm like okay whatever so i saw this coat this is like slavic vibes all the way it was pricey i'm not gonna lie she is stunning oh my goodness guys you guys this is gorgeous oh my goodness look at this let me try it on i got it in a size what the heck was that i got it in a size small oh the collar is removable so that's awesome and it has a lining which is amazing the material it's almost like a checkered fabric like it's not smooth all the way the buttons i think my mom would be a little disappointed in she's a seamstress all right this one's made in morocco i'm so excited to try this on are the sleeves gonna be short <gasps> Please don't be short. Please don't be short. Wow, this is so slimming. I mean, the sleeves are good. They're good. It's kind of hard to show you a full body. It's actually perfect. Wow. I'm going to wear the most basic outfit underneath. Some black tall booties. I have some from H&M. And you look so put together. You look so bougie on a budget, but except for it's not really a budget because it's costing like $160. So it's okay. Oh, there's a loose thread. It's not good. Zara, Zara. Like, it's not real fur. It's faux fur. It's a wool blend. It's not 100% wool, wool and it's not, it's Zara, you know? But wow, this is gorgeous. Anywho, I really don't have much to share today. Oh yeah, I do. I wanted to try this on. And I got a new Pilates mat from Aldi, believe it or not. I have like a thick one, but the thick one is hard. I started doing Be The Method again. It's just, I took like a two month break from exercising, but now I wanna get back into working out. And Be The Method is my favorite workout app. She had a 20% off if you did annual, which is expensive, but she does like live classes at least once a week. At least once a week, she'll do a live class. And it's just so great for like mobility and core strength. Me personally, I don't like to do heavy weights. I don't like to do a lot of crazy cardio and all this stuff. So I just love her program. If you love Pilates type workouts and you like really wanna strengthen your whole body, but you can do it at home with minimal equipment, I think you will like it. So I got this mat here. This one's way thinner than what I have. So this one will be better because the one that I have is like this thick. Sometimes when I have to be in certain positions, it's just like I don't have the balance that I want. Or if I'm like standing on one foot, it's too squishy. So I don't have the grip and the balance that I want. So I saw this at Aldi and I was like, perf, perfect, perfect, perfect. If I could suggest any workout app, that would be it for sure. These are the leggings. Again, it's kind of hard to show you guys in full body, but these are way more compressive. I sized down for a little bit more compression. The only thing is I think that these are a little bit higher in the waist. Like they feel like they're higher in the waist. And so when you sit down, sometimes it can like crinkle or be a little bit weird. But I like that the line here is right here because I have kind of like a lower belly pooch a little bit. And so if the line is like down here, it kind of like emphasizes my pooch. So I don't like that. So I actually like these. I love that there's no seam at the top. I love how they feel. They're a lot smoother than the Butterlux, but I feel like these would be better for Pilates for sure. And then this is the 
Butterlux bra, bralette, so Butterlux bra, butter lift leggings. I'm gonna do a little Pilates sesh and then unwind, get ready for bed. And I think that's gonna be the whole video of today. And then I think I'm just gonna start a new vlog for Thanksgiving cooking because this one's already just, it's too long, you guys. But I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I will link anything I talked about down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.